Hey everyone, welcome back to Robert Outdoors. So, we're in my local uh, woodland. As you see. Um, I'm here to do my uh, catch and cook, as promised. Got my view. And yeah, we're gonna pitch up somewhere. Um, problem I've got today is, being a Sunday, we said I fished yesterday to Saturday, Today being a Sunday, it's a local woodland, um, public local woodland, um, so it's full of people. So I'm going to have to be quite stealthy with this one today. That's why I bought one of them. So obviously we've got camo. And obviously as it's winter, there's no leaves on the trees. Catch up with me in a bit when we get to a, a site. And then we'll crack on with some cooking. Here I am. Uh, this is the same little bit of woodland that I used for my uh, game stew video and my Lavu setup video. Got a booty on the way in. Lovely. Obviously, last time I was here, it was more sort of late autumn. There was a lot more cover. Um, footpath is literally. You can see the green through the trees. Um, about 50 yards so and there's also one in front of me uh, sort of there there's a fence with a sort of roadway path hopefully we won't get uh, annoyed by anyone right set the levee up and get cooking right there's the levee shelter salt band if you want to call it. So this is the Hungarian model. Um, I waffle on about this a lot because I really like it. <clears throat> Let's see the camo pattern. There's other videos on my channel. Week one, you can see me setting it up. And, well, I wasn't this spot like I said earlier. And there's another one of me cooking a game stew in it, but I absolutely pissed it down the road. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen the fishing, obviously yesterday I caught the fish, today I'm going to cook the fish here in the woods. Um, so I'm going to play some clips now of me actually catching the fish yesterday. For those of you who haven't seen it, um, for those of you who have, I'm not really bothered about seeing it again, I'll put a little time in the description of when the cooking will start, unless you just want to watch it. It's not very long, three or four minutes, I ain't don't know yet, maybe five minutes. Right, you do that, watch that, I'll set the cooker up, cooker, you know, stove. So today I'm cooking with oil, um, because as the, I'm pointing up, there's trees up there, um, as the description the title of this video says, it's the ultimate fish finger sandwich, catch and cook. So I'm going to be using oil, um, I didn't really want to use my, my firebox because it's the first time I cook with oil outdoors. Um, I'm gonna use my gas stove so I can regulate, you know, keep an eye on the temperature. It needs to be higher or lower without putting more wood on, or because you can't really take the wood off. Yeah. So you watch the little catch and I'll set up the cook.
Alright, I've been fishing for a good hour or so. And uh, if, you do, if you saw the rod action on that, the, the rod tip went absolutely crazy. And on the end was this 33 centimetre whiting. Sadly for him, um, we got in a bit of a pickle. So he's coming home with me. Come on, bugger. So, boys, girls, wonderful view in public. Catch and cook is on the cards. Sadly, not today. But I'll take this little fella home, fill it in, and then I'll get in the woods hopefully tomorrow. Um, and we'll do a little catch and cook in the woods. Look at that. Beautiful. So, after catching that cracking white in, as the gear's in for a minute, one of them, I thought I'd just run through bait I'm using and my rig and technique. So, bait of choice today is well, I've got 50, 50 lug worm. Um, these were as fresh as you could get. I literally, when I got to the tackle shop yesterday, the bait man literally just left after having a deliver, uh, dropping off a delivery. So they are fresh as. Um, a rig is a just a well, standard two hook flapper tied by myself. Don't buy rigs, guys. Waste of money. Because um, it's the winter, I like fishing quite a long two hook flapper. So what we got there is a 70 pound main line. And I've gone a little bit heavier today because it's yeah. just in case the seams were rough. Tied these a couple of days ago. Um, I've got 40 pound snoods on there. Yeah. So since we've been doing the trick, I've had two little tiny, little baby white in like you saw earlier on. And then uh, big mama or dada, which is he's coming home with me. Fingers crossed for more. Um, I'm here for another probably three hours. Um, we've had high tide now and it's on its way out. Hooker. We've got 5% battery. Fish for another hour and a half. I'm now on my last cast. I've just been using my worms up. Put down to one rod. Down to one rod. So literally flicking it out. I'm not casting out very far. And there's a reason why. Because when the tide's gone like this, turn, it's gone out quite a lot since this morning. Um, in my eyes, anyway, the flatfish turn up. Um, the bloody hell, by God, didn't he? The size of this. He's 30 centimetres. Dab. I have never caught a 30 centimetre dab before. The size of him. See there, I had a pack of bay on the beach yesterday. Now it's time to eat. So, first things first, I've got my little gas stove on a sort of low heat. Next thing I'm going to do, I've got a jar, so the safest way to bring some oil, of, uh, just vegetable oil, I'm going to go with a, some shallow fry. So you want a low heat. Right. right, next for the batter. So I've just got some self raising flour in there. I don't do things by weights and measures. I'm going to put. Well, if it was, I reckon about four heat tablespoons in there. I'm going to save some for it in a bit later. Should have done all this when I was messing around with the camera. But... Right, in my uh, little pot. Watch your oil, it? So in there 
get in there is salt, pepper, dry mixed herbs, um, garlic powder and onion powder. What I'm going to do is, that's a dry mixture obviously. Got a chuck on the floor. Um, I'll pop that in my bowl of flour. Again, measurement wise, it's probably half a teaspoon of each. Again, this is from a, I'm going to hopefully get two rolls out today. Mix your dry ingredients together. Lovely. Right, for the batter. Bottle of a uh, brew dog. Not going to be waste wasted. Now you want to add that to your, your dry flour mix, just it's kind of like a little bit at a time. You need your whisk as well. You gotta be careful that oil. Smell of vision, smelling good already. There we go. You can see that's the that's the consistency I'm after without spilling any on the floor. I'm sure the birds would love it. There we go. rest for a few minutes. While we're doing that, I'll uh, show you my little fish fillets. I know I'll keep looking over there, because like I said, that path's quite close. Back there. All right, let me bring you in. Have a look at the fish. Oil's getting nice and warm now. Lovely, so we'll look at the fish. Here they are. Ooh. The whitened fillets from yesterday. Um, as you can see, I need a sharper knife to fill it with because uh, it doesn't look the greatest, does it? So what I'm going to do now is these slightly bigger pieces. I'm just going to cut them in half. So I full skin. I'm going to cook the skin as well. Same again for this other one. As you can see, I made a bit of a hash job with the others so they sort of came off in pieces right this is where we need my little tub again what I'm going to pop in the tub is just some flour this is just a we'll coat the fish with before we uh, put it in the batter pan is now quite hot. Yeah, we're quite hot. So the idea is to, to, to coat it in the, the normal flour and then in the batter and then we go 
from the batter to the pan. As you can see, the pan is smoking. Smell what I can smell. So cooking times, we're probably going to give it three or four minutes on each side. You see they're only fairly small pieces of fish anyway, so they're not going to take a lot of cooking. As I said, that oil is hot, hot, hot. Bugger off. So this is obviously if you saw the fishing video yesterday. I went to my sister's over Christmas. She very kindly shared her coldy flu with me. Oh. Fish now been cooking. Let's only add probably two minutes on each side. Golden brown, looking crispy. Looking good. We cook on the stove. Mm. Very tripod. All in the woods. A little kitchen area. Yeah, lovely. The sun's annoying me. It's a winter sun, but it's uh, dry. A little chilly, but yeah, it's all right. So I'm probably going to take the fish out now. Put the next lot in, and then we get to build the ultimate. Fish finger sandwich. Don't know why I'm talking like that. The ultimate fish finger sandwich. That's the first lot cooked. Let's, uh, let's get a second lot in. <coughs> Starting to pick up a little bit, but it's not really affecting my uh, fire tool or fire my gas stove at all. Right, here we go, round two. Obviously, I haven't bought towel or anything to wipe my hands on so that's why they're covered in leaves and crap because I'm pretty much just uh, wiping my hands on this on the leaves and uh, so they're quite damp anyway so I'm just dry them off on my trousers oh, right there's me Holy spoon. Oh, 
how to build the ultimate fish finger sandwich or button. Some nice seeded rolls. Nice and roll open. Jolly old tartar sauce. Yeah. Good smuggling of uh, tartar. Half a jar got into both of those. You can't see because my legs. Handful of lettuce in each one. Ow, still a bit warm. And then, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho ho, look at that. All cooked by me here in the woods, as you just saw. Now, obviously, I used to white in, in these. You can use any white fish. You don't have to cook it in the woods, it's just nice if you do. Cook it at home, exactly the same way. Any white fish, cod, haddock, as long as you cut it into small goujons, you want to do posh, fingers, give it a go. Let me know if, how you get on with it. Um, best way to probably share it to me is on Instagram. Don't forget, Red Bell Outdoors. Yeah. Make the other one, and then we'll eat. And there she is, all in her glory. As you can see, I've added more tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. What we say down in here in Norfolk? Tartar sauce. Finish the rest of the brew dog off. When I'll eat it in a minute. So yeah, make it look a bit fancy. Put a bit of tartar sauce. Arty farty. Right, let's see. Pack up and get out of here. So, in the afternoon, well, early afternoon, lunchtime, got a few dog walkers about. As long as they don't disturb me eating my uh, ultimate fish finger sandwich, I'm not bothered. Cheers. There we are, all packed up. Review in the bag. All my stuff on my back. Wait 
for a nice little walk back home. But I said to you before, I only live sort of 10, 15 minute walk away. Right. Where's that sun? Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the catch and cook. Like I said, you can use any any white fish really. Be careful when I'm going around as well as talk to the camera. Yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, don't know when my next video is going to be, or what it's going to be about. I've got a few, well, I say a few of these, but a lot of ideas. I've got to try and cross this. The buddy sun. Cross this. Like right, getting a booty again. There is a walkway, but I can never remember where it is. It might have been back where it was. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, forget to like it, the video if you like the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. There's going to be more content like this. Yeah, thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.